Welcome back to my channel, it's Debbie from Nature's Caress. Today I'm going to take you on a journey to make cold processed soap dough rose flowers. Really, really easy peasy way. So come along with me and I'll show you how to do it. Okay then, I want to show you all the equipment that I've got which is really, really cheap and so easy peasy to use. So. I bought this set of three rose petal cutters on eBay. I think they're only about $5 a set um, if you want to make big ones or little ones. They, um, they're used for cake decorating mostly for the fondant icing on the top, um, but I thought they were a great idea for using for soap dough. I have done a fair bit of piping on different things, but um, I'm sure not an expert, and I find this is the easiest way to go if you want to have a lovely flower. These are some that I've done a um, um, couple of weeks ago. They're curing. They're just little heart soaps for Valentine, and they're the, they're the actual roses that I've piped and put on top, so they can just be put on you know, when you've made the heart. And just pipe the leaves on if you want to you can actually do leaves that, that um, I've got sets like this that have all sorts of different shapes and flowers if you just want something basic I'll show you when I've done the rose petal on um, how to do them they're just really really easy no problem so the soap dough that I use is practically any leftover cold processed soap that I have when I make something but I found the best recipe um, I've got is when I put a little bit of a hard um, butter in there so this is the red one but as I say I'll show you with the others they were made without it um, but I will link my recipe to what I use that I found the best but so that's what they look like they're pretty lovely I think so I'll just get on with it and show you how we do it so as I say I use this medium size one for that size if you want to do bigger ones you can when I've made loaf soaps which I'll put a picture at the end of the video what I've done with all various sizes they look lovely as well um, you can do it in any color you like I find that um, doing the soap dough in a color is better um, I've seen other people on YouTube that add the micas into just a white or a plain soap and no uncolored soap but I find that really tedious and it doesn't really get a uniform color so I don't do it that way but that doesn't mean you don't want to do it that way so um, I'll get on with it and show you how I do them and show you how super easy it is. So we're going to use this one. I'll put these to the side. I've made one earlier just to get it ready, but I'll show you how I do it. You can actually get um, a machine that rolls it out like a pasta type machine, which I did get earlier in the piece. But by the time you put it through it and you clean it up after, it's hardly worth the effort, depending if you wanted to make squillions, I guess. But... Um, I usually make about 10 or 12 at once to go on top of just a small batch of soap or whatever, so I don't worry. Now, this is the red one that I made um, in the recipe that I was telling you about. So I just break some off and roll it out. So you roll it out to probably about 1 to 2 millimetres thickness. You can do it thicker if you like or thinner. It's just harder to, to manoeuvre it when it's thinner, obviously. And you don't want it too thick or it looks a little bit... Um, not so nice on the soaps if it's not um, delicate looking. Now I use um, a wooden rolling pin. I find that's the best because um, I got a plastic one that came with the set, I think, or with some of the equipment that I got, um, and it sticks too much. So I just find the wooden one works so much better. Just put some plastic down with a little bit of corn flour on there. Not much because you don't want to discolour the soap too much. Just enough to stop it sticking because that's a pain when it sticks. Um, as I say, the soap needs to be sort of the right consistency. If it's too soft or too hard, it's not going to work. So you'll know the feel of it when you do it. And if you've been a cake person, you'll get it straight away. Um, so I just keep rolling it and turning it over till I get the thickness that I want, which is, as I said, about one to two millimetres. I don't want it thick, but I don't want it so thin that it's going to break and I can't handle it. So I'm thinking that's pretty good. Now don't worry about the ends because as you can see, this isn't that big. So you just have to make it big enough to do one in one thingy and then you just squish it all back together again. So I'll just do it a little bit thinner. So you get this down and pop it down here. So put it on the part obviously that isn't broken and push it right down into it as hard as you can. That's all you need to do. 
and then lift it up from here and peel the other bits off. That's what I find the easiest. And when the soap's the right consistency, it just really comes off easy like that. So you get this squished up and get use that for the next bit or whatever you want to do. Now I find if you push it out like this, you break it. So I found it better to just sort of push it out with my finger and at the same time pushing it down onto your um, worktop like so. Um, really, it's just so easy to do and it's just so lovely. Um, now, if the bits are a little bit um, not so finely tuned here, we can just take them off with a bit of a tool like so. Now, some people use a special tool and they go all around like that, but I find if I do that, it's okay most of the time, but that's a bit tedious as well. So all as I do is I use my finger and I just push them out a little bit so you get a little bit more character in the petals because you know in nature they're not perfect are they so you want to just um, make them like a little bit natural I suppose a better of a word than normal it's more natural if they're like that so you can do what you want with these you can break some off if you think it's going to look more authentic but I tend to just push it out like that so the edge is thinner um, and just keep going around without being too harsh so you don't actually break them. And um, Okie dokie, I've got this one ready. Um, the other one got a little bit dry so um, I squished it back together. So it's important that you do sort of wrap it up if it's getting a bit dry. Um, so as I said, what we're going to do now is just pop the actual water in the middle because that helps it adhere together when you fold it over. Um, and so I just give that, get that and bring it over so that other petals are in the middle of that section. So it just automatically goes there when you move it over. Just squish that down a little bit because it's, as I say, it's been a little bit dry because I've been preparing it for the video. Now you can see that it's just like so. So now it's, the, the, the petals are in between the other petals. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to put a little tiny bit of water on either end so that it will join together and a little bit along here. You don't need much, just a tiny bit. So now we're going to roll this in so that it rolls over like so. Now I hope you can see it. Some people put it down so that you get a uniform thing, but I just like to do it like that because I bring the other ones up. Um, so some are a little bit higher. It's obviously individual preference and you'll get the drift once you do it yourself, what you want to do. So you can see that there now. I've stuck that on that end where the little bit of water is. Um, and every one you make will look totally different. So that's okay. Some look better than others and some, um, you know, some are really gorgeous and lovely. So what I do is I push that in the bottom so that that's all squished together. And that will give you a bit of dough down the bottom, which you're going to take off in a minute. Now that's what it looks like at the moment. Now we're going to get a tool of some description. Use whatever you've got handy. You can use the end of a paintbrush or whatever. I bought these sort of little tools. They were cheap as on eBay as well when I started doing this a couple of years ago. But you don't really need special things. Um, so, But I, this, I find the end of this works really well. So what you do is you just press the leaf the petals, not the leaf, the petals out till you get the look that you want. So you can just do that. Um, I just hope you can see it good. I haven't got the best camera equipment. I'm just using an iPad. Um, so you just push it out and then like you see here, this isn't perfect because it's not perfect in nature. So you might have a bit of a broken one. So I would leave it broken. Um, that's the thing. You can leave the bud just closed inside there. Um, I'm sure not an artist, um, so I, I'm, not, I'm not an expert at this side of things, but I know when things look nice and I think this is starting to look beautiful. So that's all you have to do. It is so easy. Anybody can do it, honestly. If I can do it, you can do it as well. Now this one here under there, I might try and get under there and just lever him out a little bit because he was a bit close in there, so that's looking better, I think. Um, and I'm going to leave the bud on the inside closed because I think that looks pretty effective. Now, this is looking pretty nice, I think. 
Now, um, what I'm saying is I squish this in like this down the bottom. You're going to have a fair bit of dough down the bottom, but you can cut that off later. Um, I mean, you can take it off now if you want to. It's up to you. If you feel this is firm enough and it's looking good, you can do that. So I'll do that to show you, but you can put it to the side and leave it for a couple of hours and cut that off later because this is too this is too deep here to go on your soap. Um, when you push it in, it pushes all your soap out of skew whiff so I just get a sharp knife and just give it a cut at the bottom so just try and make it as even as you can um, like that and then squish it back so you've got that and then pull all your petals back out again they're pretty forgiving so you can do whatever for a while till they start to go hard um, so there's your beautiful rose I think it's really lovely and, and for how easy it is to do um, as I say, I piped, I tried for hours and hours to learn how to pipe. A few years ago, I got all the gear um, and I'd do one beautiful one and then I'd have a failure and it just was so frustrating. But um, I just found this is so much easier to do. And as I say, everyone looks a little bit different. So I think they're gorgeous. Now, what I'll do is I'll do a bigger one as well now so you can see the difference in the size. Okay, I thought I'd just show you the bigger size, what it looks like. So I've, I've actually rolled out the bigger one. So this is the bigger size up. This is the one we used before. So just to show you the difference, you might like a bigger flower. Um, it's up to you, but that's. Um, I just thought I'd give it a go and show you what it looks like. So the same, same procedure, just put a bit of a thingy there. I've already pushed the, the petals out to what I want. Um, rolling him over just like before and we've got our petals coming between the other petals put a little bit of water on here as because it's getting dry just like before and I'm going to put a little bit of water on the other ends here just to make them come together when then we get to that stage now this is broken off but it doesn't matter we can make it work so we'll just push it around again, however you want to do it. Squish it on the bottom again like we did with the other one. You can have some petals coming up high and some down low just like would have in nature I suppose so squishing it together here okay so now I'm just going to get my tool and bring them down how I want them just like before Squish again. Mm. I think that's looking pretty good the way it is really. I don't think it needs too much more done to it. This one in the middle has come up nicely. Sometimes they just don't and sometimes they do. This one's worked well. I think that looks pretty nice. Um, push that around there like that. Squish it again. And yeah, that's that one done as well. So that's just the bigger size. So if you want it bigger, that's the difference between the two. I'll get the other one to show you. So it's a bit bigger. Um, it just looks different, doesn't it? But um, now if you want to jazzy it up a bit, you can get some mica. You can get gold mica and just paint the leaves if you like. Um, just put some gold edges on there, silver edges, white edges, whatever you want to do. Um, what I think, I'll just put a little bit of um, rubbing alcohol on it and just put a bit of the, I just use this um, eco-friendly glitter. 
and that gives it a little bit of shine as well. That looks pretty dreamy, I think. Um, and again, we just cut the bottom off so that it's not so thick, making it even. I'm not really good at cutting straight. I'm terrible when I cut bread. Um, so yeah, that's that's that one. And then this one here is the other size. So we'll just put a little bit of rubbing alcohol onto that one. A little bit of glitter. And again, it's just individual choice. You can... I've done them before where I've done um, put a bit of gold or silver, whatever you want to do on the leaves, that looks really nice. So you just mix up a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a little bit of um, mica together, the colour that you want. And that's the two that's the two different ones of those. Okay, so I'll quickly just show you if you don't want to do this, you can just use the normal tool or a tool. Um, I'll do it in the blue just for a bit of change. So again, you just roll it out the same way and then you can get these various um, tools like this that give you different flowers. You can put them one on top of the other. It's, it's just endless what you can buy. Um, they're not very expensive either. Butterflies, all sorts of things. So I'll just show you how easy they are to do. Put a little bit more of that down. Just wipe my hands. I'm going to get a bit of red on it, but I won't be worrying about that just at the minute. Just get that out of the way. I'll put a little bit more corn flour on here. So we've got these. This is just another way to do it. If you just want a simpler version, you don't want to make roses, you just want to put a few little petals, you can, a um, few little flowers just sitting on the top of your soap. When you make your loaf soap, whatever you want to do, it's just an easy way. And you don't have to do it in melt and pour. It's just good you got it in the cold process soap recipe, just like you're using. And we've got glitter everywhere here. So I'll just show you what can we do with this. So it's same thing. You just get one of these, whatever one you want to use. I've got various ones, butterflies, say that shape, all sorts of shapes. Push it down, take it off. And then this gets pushed up and pushes it out of there, like so. So it's really, really easy. Then you can just get your tool and lift it off because it's coming off from here now. I think you can see it's sort of lifting off from here. So it's just coming off. You can either, sometimes it just falls off like that or you just prise it off like so. I'm so sorry, you can't see it good. And there you've got a lovely little flower. So that's really cute as well. And then if you want to put a little bit of um, something in the middle, I'll just put a tiny bit of water there and then just put a little tiny thing if you want a little centre. I mean, it's not real, but it's it gives your soap a lovely look when you put them on the top. Um, and so you can just do that again. You can, again, put some glitter on it, a little bit of rubbing alcohol, a bit of glitter just to jazzy it up. Go glitter free, whatever you like yourself. Um, I'll show you this. So they set really, really hard. A couple of hours they'll be hard and you can handle them. And then you just pop them on the top of your soap and they look really, really super gorgeous, lovely, beautiful. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So yeah, there you have it. There's the flower and they'll go hard in a couple of hours. And they look pretty beautiful, don't they? Um, and so you can get them in all different shapes and sizes. I've got squillions of different ones here. Um, that kind of one as well. I'll just show you a little bit on that one. That's just another easy peasy one. It just whatever you want to put on your soaps works well. So that's all there is to it. And you just do it like so. These are really cute because you can just put the little thing in the middle of them. And they look beautiful as well. You can put a bit more on that one. Oh, that's another one as well. Um, yeah, so there you are. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and you got something from it. Um, and please subscribe to my channel and I'll be posting videos every couple of days or at least once a week. Um, please leave me comments or anything that you'd like me to share with you. I'm happy to do it. Okay, see you next time. Bye.